And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Riven Swain to start the day off. This is going to be a Noxus deck, of course, with Riven and Swain, but we're also going to be heading on over to Ionia for our support region. So let's take a look at our deck. All right, so our uh, as far as our units go for our curve, for the two mana slot, we have Legion Drummer, Rune Weaver, Trifarian, Glory Seeker. The Drummer and the Glory Seeker, of course, pair really well together with the Drummer giving the quick attack to the Challenger. It's kind of like a, a mini Fiora Shen kind of thing with Legion Drummer, Glory Seeker. The Rune, Rune Weaver is going to be reforging, and of course Riven will be reforging too. And these Blades of the Exiles sometimes will either get um, plus two, plus zero, which won't be as good, but then Overwhelm or Quick Attack. And these are going to be the important ones. So like this Quick Attack, for example... That could, that's another way to give Quick Attack to Glory Seeker. You could all, we could also use the Quick Attack 1 to the Legion Drummer and give that Quick Attack and then also have to make it so they don't get to block it and the Drummer give the Glory Seeker Quick Attack. You know, it's like, that's going to be pretty nice. At 3 mana, we'll have Arachnoid Sentry. We'll have that with the Ravenous Flock. That's going to be part of our combo. Um, or like, that's, you know, a two-card combo that will, will be four damage as far as leveling up Swain because we're going to have to be able to deal damage to be able to level up Swain. Also got River Shaper in here, which we're basically always just happy to have River Shaper. This is going to be like our main card advantage engine, drawing extra spells for us. This should also be pretty good with the different quick attack things of uh, maybe being able to keep it alive a little bit easier. And like this is a card that could benefit from the plus two plus zero as well. That we can make it like a four power uh, quick attack, like the, the Blade Reforges that get the plus two plus zero that can use that. And then we're also going to have Fey Guide. I felt like uh, Fey Guide is may, like maybe our best thing to play in the four mana slot, where that could work great with both River Shaper and Riven, giving these things elusive. Um, I think that that could uh, work out really well. So we're gonna have Fey Guide give those elusive, or even just giving. Uh, if we don't have those, then you know next option maybe giving like Legion Drummer elusive, so it can attack more freely and support with the quick attack. Um, and then, of course, Swain. You know, Swain's another card that giving Swain elusive sounds awesome, right? Because if you really want to be able to have Swain, especially when Swain's leveled up, you really want Swain to deal, uh, you really want Swain to strike the Nexus. And because then you're doing three to all their stuff. It's pretty crazy. Um, so we need to find ways for Swain to strike the Nexus. So ways that we have, we have, of course, the Fey Guide giving it elusive. We uh, have the Overwhelm with the uh, different blades. Like we can uh, get Swain, over Swain Overwhelm. That could be uh, very useful, especially, you know, like maybe put like a plus two plus zero and an Overwhelm, that kind of stuff. Or even just uh, if Riven makes this the actual blade, not just the fragments, the blade of the exile, putting this on Swain would be great. The plus two plus zero quick attack Overwhelm. That would be awesome on Swain. And then we also have Dragon's Rage, which is a card that I think is really underrated. It's a, a really cool card that is just amazing with Swain. Because it is the unit uh, striking both the the enemy and the enemy nexus, so this is a, a way to um, not only quickly level up Swain, but then also uh, turn on the nexus strike. Another great part about this card is the strikes happen like one, and then the first one happens, then the second one happens. So you strike the the enemy unit first, and then you strike the enemy nexus. And why that's important is like let's say you have Swain is like a three six but is at like 10 out of 12 for leveling up, right? Like it's not quite leveled up. You can still play your Dragon's Rage and it will do three damage to the unit first, which will then level up the Swain. And then it will do the three damage to the enemy Nexus. And uh, I guess then it would technically do four damage to the enemy Nexus. And then it would do this other ability here also. So that's just a great combination. And then obviously we have Leviathan to, uh, you know, you always just play Leviathan and Swain decks with that combo. All right, other ways to level up Swain, basically Death's Hand, Noxion Fervor, Ravenous Flock. Those are going to be our main ways uh, to do that. So, all right, let's give it a try. So we're going to play some Riven Swain. Here we go. Okay, Twisted Ezreal. They're going to have a lot of damage-based removal. And Glory Seeker is pretty easy to kill with, like, little damage. I mean, Flock is great against... You know, if we can find... If we find the other part of our combo, Flock is awesome against Ezreal. If we find the 3-drop. The I'm all getting these two for sure. 
and then this one I'm not sure about. I think I'm going to just keep it and hope that we draw the other one. But maybe that's not a good hope. Okay, so it looks like keeping the Ravenous Flock is not going to really uh, pan out for us right now. Uh, I was worried about Ravenous Flock. Whoa, Hexcore Foundry. Shape the land and give it life. That's not necessarily a card I was expecting. Currents, pull them down. So basically, I'm I'm worried about them just having you know drawing you know either having Mystic Shot or drawing into Mystic Shot. And so I actually want to just draw a spell here before I you know like I don't want to trade River Shaper for Mystic Shot. That's too bad. Oh wait, this thing's damaged. Why didn't I just Ravenous Flock this? Why why am I not really thought about that? <laughs> Why did I think about that like on turn one? Remember why we fight. Okay, now we have the Death Sands to turn on another Ravenous Flock. We got every flock. Where do you stand on cold shots? We march as one, an unstoppable force. Man, they really like drawing cards. Who has the serpent? Gonna be drawing plenty of cards. So they have three, six, nine. So they have nine cards. I have eight. <clears throat> so I'm gonna pass priority to them. They do have a fleeting card. Okay. So I wanted to see if you know because. So they, they played something that... I want to see if like if they spent like a lot of mana on something, then they wouldn't have like Thermogenic Beam for Swain. They still ha do have the mana for Thermogenic Beam for Swain, though. Um, I can change that by spending... I can spend these two cards to take out the Ezreal of play Death's Hand, play Flock. And then that would have a leveled up Swain. And now Swain will have seven health. So they can't kill it with six. Yes, that was my that was my thing in here. Not let Thermogenic Beam kill Swain. Which looks like that may pay off. I don't really need to make that attack. Alright, cool. So this is going to put 10 cards in their hands. Considering passing... Yeah, I think I pass.
Would it make sense to... Would it make sense to Scorch Earth one of these things? I think probably not. Victory requires a sharp blade. You know, it's basically, do I open an attack or do I play Leviathan? Like, if I if I just attack right now, they could, we've seen them have Make It Rain. They just play another Make It Rain, and then, you know, like, they have that, and then... But, like, if I play Leviathan right now, they maybe have to, you know, maybe they, like, Thermogenic Beam Leviathan, and then they don't have mana for Make It Rain, so then they take eight. Right? Like, it's... If I play Leviathan, maybe they, I guess they, they go, like, Twisted Fate, Gold Card, the, the Leviathan, but then that's still, then they can't really kill the Leviathan. I think it's I think it's better to play this first. I think that's gonna make their life a lot more difficult. Never lost a fair game. Who says I don't share? Battle station! Charmed, I'm sure. Can they do five damage with four mana? They don't know what they're up against. I thought you'd never ask. We play and build Man, rules. think of how much their deck would just love to have Ravenous Flock. You know, they can't, of course, because they're not Noxus, but that that seems like just a card from everything they've been playing. Ravenous Flock just seems like the card. So yeah, they don't they don't have room for a mystic shot. I can probably pass. Okay. Their plan is no longer Rift Tide Rex. I think about going like Riven Dragon's Rage. No, I'll just go Sentry, Swain, Ravenous Flock. Man, they had two two mana gotchas? We're going under. Maybe the first gotcha wasn't two mana. For silver I talk, for gold I taste it. Master, your two. It was a two mana Ravis Flocks. They had two two mana Ravis Flocks. Or two. Sorry, not Ravis Flocks, but Gotchas. They had two two mana Gotchas. Me down to one. They just need they just need one more spell. <clears throat> That's all they needed. Because any spell with that Ezreal, they just needed one more. Ooh, this could be tough playing some burn, some misfortune gangplank burn. I, I, I'm a big fan of the Pirate Burn deck. I think it's very good. So this could be a tough matchup. And yes, yeah, we were talking about it afterwards. I, I really didn't need to play that Lifesteal card. We were, I guess we were just showing off. I First uh, game of the day. I, I 
it was just completely unnecessary. The Swain was just, just going to attack them for lethal anyway. All right, anyway, for our deck, you know, I think we'll keep Riven and Swain and just Mulligan the others. I could see keeping the second Swain to, to make it a Ravenous Flock, but that's, you know, like, that's a turn five Ravenous Flock. It's good having cheap cards, you know, so we can think, okay, the second Swain's a one-mana card, but that's not until, like, turn five. Would it be a one-mana card? No, 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 no. Yeah, so so the the lifesteal would have healed 16, because it is it is the Swain dealing the damage. Like, it, it would heal all of that. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Glory Seeker could be really important at taking down a Gangplank or a Misfortune, like either one of these two. I don't want to have, like, I don't want to go, like, Glory Seeker trade for a one drop. You know, so let's play the Legion Drummer. Even if they, you know, like, play a two here, like that, I'm not trading my Glory Seeker for that. Um, and I don't think I just should, I don't think I should just attack and just trade with Demolitionist right now. We can, we can always block and trade with Demolitionist if we so choose to. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. I was born in battle and raised by war. Riven's a great blocker, a 3-4. Great blocker. Clear it out! Captain's orders, you will not break me! Overwhelm. Victory requires a sharp blade. My conflict awaits. Face me! Alright, and basically I'm just having, like, Noxion Fervor available. Like, if they do, like, use, like, whatever, like, removal spell on something, I can Fervor and, you know, make it... You know, have this Fervor up. Instead of playing the Overwhelm, and, and again, I don't really want to use another Glory Seeker on just that. If they would have played like Spray, like after I played Glory Seeker, they would play like Spray Fin. You know, then you know, then we'd be talking. But hey, Dragon, thanks for stopping by on your uh, breaking class. Hopefully, class class is going good. Yeah, this is a tough matchup for us for sure. Like this, this Pirate Burn decks are very good. They've had a slow hand, though. This has not been a good hand for them. But that doesn't mean that we're going to stabilize, right? Like, they could have a bunch of burn spells in hand, and, and obviously that card is very good. So just because they've had a slow hand doesn't mean that... doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to be winning. Through the coral! I'm actually just going to do this. I think if I, I think it's very likely, you know, like I quick attack the Glory Seeker, I think it's very likely they use, basically just, it's really likely they use removal on this Glory Seeker here. And so I don't think the quick attack is worth it, because I think it's going to die anyway. At 9 mana, I do have the ability to, like, Weapon Hilt. Like, assuming, like, if both of these die, I could Weapon Hilt one of these and then Dragon's Rage and do 5 damage to their Nexus and 5 damage to this Gangplank. But... It's going to be difficult to pull off a, a Dragon's Rage considering they no are a, a deck with, again, a lot of burn spells, a lot of removal. I guess not really a lot. It's, it's basically Noxion Fervor on their side. Right, like they should have one auction fervor already with this spray fin, and I don't know if they have. They've been playing it very slow, so I don't know if they have more auction fervors or not. Okay, so they're just going there. Oh, because that levels up 
the gangplank, huh? So we don't want that to happen. So if I go further, then I won't have Dragon's Rage. Let's try this. Okay. I wouldn't mind them playing another gangplank right here. Doesn't look good. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Really need one more mana to have Dragon's Rage and Fervor available. Just have more decimates. I basically thought that they had another noxion. How they were playing, I really thought they had another noxion fervor. And so I was trying to play around a second. I was trying to save my noxion fervor for their second noxion fervor. Um, but yeah, they just had the decimates. And so yeah, how they were. Um, yeah, maybe it was deny. Maybe they were thinking deny and they were trying to play around deny. But yeah, like how they, they kind of played really well around my Dragon's Rage. Never opened up a good Dragon's Rage for me. Um, Lee Sin Zoe. I don't think we need Deny against Lee Sin Zoe. And... Flock while good. I don't have anything to turn it on right now. Yuck, 2-8 eight, eight draws. Man, I really hope they don't have turn 1 Zoe. Just pass. Pass. <laughs> Well, this may not even be a game. Heart and blade both broken. The spirit gives to those who Yeah, this kind of hand happens sometimes. So this looks pretty bad for us. They're gonna have these draggling's coming in and attacking now. Breathe in, breathe out. Looking into the future, I see purple. And this just gives them the gems. Maybe I should just be using like the Death's Hand and, and the Flock on like whichever one they support and just not blocking, but... That's not bad for me. I'll take that. I am prepared. 
This is just a turn that like the gems don't matter that much. You will not break me. So I don't know why you wouldn't attack with both Eye of the Dragons. But. Okay. So we'll take this. So now we have... We got rid of the Pale Cascade, which the Pale Cascade helps them block my Swain. And now we have leveled up Swain. All right, we got a donation deck from Zagala. Thank you, Zagala. What kind of deck is it, Zagala? For me to write down what kind of deck. Breathe in, breathe out. Stand as a Noxian or die as an Ionian. I made my choice mm. long ago. Man, they had a great hand. Yeah, very good hand. I this thing's two away from leveling up. I needed one more mana. Oh, this would've been a great dragon's rage right now. But oh well. To serve the greater good. Zoe Brahm Elusives. Cool. Thank you, thank you. If I don't play Ribbon, I could could have replayed Swain. What is gained when we return malevolence? Man, all the Leviathans. Glory cannot excuses for war. So they took a spell. We know that they have one of my spells, and so that's got to either be Ravenous Flock or what? Death, I played Death's Hand. So like they're gonna have a spell that gives this Lee Sin barrier. I don't think I can even just like attack because they're gonna have a spell that gives this barrier. My main hope is a they don't have a burst spell, and so they gotta play something fast or slow. Nope, they had a burst spell. Yeah, just wonderful hand for them. Pretty terrible hand for me. Doesn't really get much worse than just having all those, you know, just some handful of Leviathans and Dragon's Rage. Like, basically every single one of my expensive cards. All right, let's try this out against the dragons. Basically, the the main question here is like river shape. No, I think yeah, I think we keep him. So, hello. I keep step with the, heartbeat of the scorched earths have been pretty bad for us so far. But with that being said. Uh, we we haven't played against like a Grand Plaza deck. This could they could be playing Grand Plaza here, and then that would make our Scorched Earth look a lot better. We were forged in dragon fire. Okay, that is not that. Let's go with Sentry Stun, or just play Rune Weaver and try to trade the two. I think I like that better. Just basically see if we can double trade. Oh, 
wonder why that Dragon Guard always brags about having two arms. Don't like most people have two arms. Alright, Arios with the donation deck. Good amount of mana they they wasted. I guess three. So Victor Swain. A five five. Glory, courage, excuses for war. River Shaper or Swain? Swain just gets more damage on them, but River Shaper draws me spells. I think I'd rather draw spells. Stay hidden. Obviously, they could have the two mana card that allows them to block an elusive. I really hope not. Fight spells, I can I can handle a fight spell with a deny. Yep. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still. Alright, just gotta get rid of the spell shield so that my scorched earth can kill that. Merely pawns in a greater game. Wait. Red right. To honor the fallen. Huh. Never mind. Man, I have not been playing perfectly in these games. Hey, Kobozuwu. Hello, hello. Good morning, Agent Iowa. Good morning. Stop. My fake guide plan is not working out against these sharp sites. That's a good draw. We were forged in dragon fire. Hmm. I need just a moment. Think they're playing judgment? Sure hope not. Here they come. I have deny if they do. But like what do they have over there? They're, they're not doing that much. They may be asking the same of me. Don't let them through. Cool. I'll just trade off these things. Got rid of three challengers on their side. Have deny protect. Shining gifts from the sky. 
can see them having like more like single combat type cards. They wanted to do this now and, you know, not not be open to a ravenous flock. I was wondering if I should go like Scorched Earth instead. So that, that does, but like, I wanted to do the Ravenous Flock to level up the Swain, but like the the Ravenous Flock in my hand would be more useful after having a leveled up Swain than what the Scorched Earth would be. When will I find peace? See, I'm only at two, 10 out of 12 there. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. They could have another single combat. Alright, so with the Overwhelm, if I go if I go with the Swain, you know, like that's good for like the if they block the Mountain Goat, like the Swain's better. But I think the likely thing with them with them doing the gem there, the likely thing is uh, single combat here, and so I want Overwhelm over here. So I think I think that's like like I think that's pretty likely here. They've I know they've already they've played. Okay, they haven't. Okay, so they guess they just gave up. I am surprised. I'm kind of surprised us get, getting this game. They just didn't have like the top end that dragon decks usually have. You can see like they only have Shivana as their only champion, so there was no Aurelian Soul. Yeah, so there's no like Eclipse Dragon, Infinite Mind Splitter, or Rillian Soul. We have done what you know, nothing above a five mana no dragon. Nothing that was like real scary. That usually is, you know, really scary. So it kind of evens out. I'm not sure how many times we'll win that, but I think a Lee Sin matchup would would have been better. Kind of evens out. All right, how much removal can we have for a Fiora? River Shaper dies to Fiora super easily, but it does draw us a spell. I guess they could... They're Freljord, though. They could Troll Chant. Um, and Frostbite. And that kind of stuff. Victory requires a sharp blade. For glory! I like where our hand's at. Ravenous Flock would be like our best draw to pair with this thing. Sweet. By my honor, you must die. Now, do I do that immediately or wait? If I go Sentry Flock, they have to have Sharp Sight. Okay. Now we do this. I was wondering like what I was gonna do against Bear, you know, so like Okay, it's just dead. No sharp sight. Alright, we're gonna play this. No, do eight damage. I'm down to seven. I was gonna say, like, if I play the Glory Seeker, like worst case scenario is they play another Fiora and just simply kill my, you know, like, then I challenge, and then they, they play barrier. And we'd still be putting them down to seven. Now 
Nothing to hold me back. I never hold back. Try me. So if they go barrier, I probably go fervor. If they don't take the damage, we let the damage happen. And go Scorched Earth. Yeah, we had a very good hand, very good interaction. That'll do. Alright, so that, that last deck was called All In Fiora for a reason. They are all in on the Fiora. Um, they didn't, you know, like, they probably had options to play, like, a Frostbite card or a Barrier there that last time and just, and, you know, uh, didn't quite do it, thinking they wanted to keep other protection for their Fiora available, but we had the Scorched Earth, um, to punish that. I wouldn't say that Riven did nothing. Riven, um, Riven helped in, in a lot of games, you know, just being a, th a three mana three four, like, it was a really good blocker, um, you know, some of the earlier games, but the you know, last couple, we didn't have it as much. Um, the Blade of the Exiles, you know, it did, did a little bit more the first couple of games than, than the last couple of games, but Riven's a good a good champion. Now, is it better than, like, Draven? I'm not so sure. Is it, you know, is it better than Draven or Zed? I, I don't, I'm not sure. Both Draven and Zed are quality as well, but that, that four health is pretty awesome with the Riven. Um... I, I'm disappointed we didn't get to really Dragon's Rage anybody. Uh, and, you know, against the Burn opponent, you know, maybe I could have, maybe I could have Dragon's Rage the Burn opponent. Um, you know, that, that Misfortune Gangplank, that was, that was kind of a, a tough matchup where, with, uh, basically, I just kind of kept my options open for a long time. I was trying to protect against another Noxion Fervor, but they just had Decimate, Decimate, like the double Decimate there finished me out that um i was trying to protect against every you know like their other burn spell in hand and maybe you know because obviously des uh, decimates are slow speed maybe if i would have gone for a dragon's rage uh instead i could have gotten there um but if we had one more mana like that that last turn i could have gone dragon's rage and had noxion fervor back up to protect against their noxion fervor that would have been nice but oh well um but yeah you know pretty pretty cool little deck here with riven swain um yeah look good all right so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well i always love seeing those but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video